Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. We have already started with the chapter on collection of data and completed the introductory part in the last tutorial. The next important topic in this chapter is methods of data collection. So in today's tutorial, we will be focusing on three main questions which are, how do we collect data? What are the tools for primary data collection? And what are the sources of secondary data? Are you ready? So let's get started. How do we collect data? Data can be collected by conducting a survey. Survey is a method of gathering information from a large group of individuals. There are three basic ways of collecting primary data. Personal interview, mailing surveys through questionnaires and telephonic interviews. This method is used when the researcher or investigator has access to all the respondents for conducting face-to-face -face interviews. Personal interviews are preferred due to various reasons. Personal contact is made between the respondent and the interviewer. Thus, there is a high response rate. The respondent can be requested to expand on an answer that is particularly important. Misinterpretation and misunderstanding can be avoided. Personal interview has some demerits too. It is expensive as it requires trained interviewers. It takes longer time to complete the survey and there is a possibility of influencing the respondents as well. The second method is mail survey. When this method is used, a questionnaire is sent to each individual by mail with a request to complete and return it by a given date. A questionnaire is a list of questions used to gather data from the respondent. These days, online surveys and surveys through SMS have become more popular. Mailed interview is the least expensive method and can be used to collect data from remote areas. This method has the disadvantage of long response time and cannot be used when the respondents are illiterate. In telephonic interview, the investigator asks the questions over the telephone. Using this method, data can be collected within a short period of time and it is cheaper than personal interviews. There is relatively high response rate and less possibility of influencing respondents. The disadvantage of this method is that it has limited access as many people may not own telephones. Here is an infographic on advantages and disadvantages of three different methods of primary data collection. You can take a screenshot for quick revision and future reference. Now let us look at what are the different sources of secondary data. Secondary data can be gathered from different sources which can be categorized into two categories, published sources and unpublished sources. A few major sources of published information are as follows. Published articles or reports of local bodies, central and state governments. Publication and reports of trade, organizations, chambers of commerce, financial institutions, etc. Books, magazines, journals and periodicals. Publications of research scholars. Publications of government organizations like the Central Statistical Organization, CSO and National Sample Survey Organization, NSSO. Statistical data can also be obtained from unpublished sources like research work of different university and research institutions, personal record of business houses and government offices, personal research of individuals and voluntary organizations, etc. We have come to the end of today's tutorial. If you find the video useful, then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. See you next time. Till then, take care and bye-bye.